One thing we find in our work is that what drives our happiness isn't often what we think drives our happiness. In one study, we gave a set of subjects the simple task, which is go create meaningfulness in the next 24 hours, and another set of subjects the simple task to go create happiness in the next 24 hours. And they came back to the lab afterwards, and we asked them the question, are you happy? And the individuals in the second condition, the people that were tasked with creating happiness, said that they were less happy than those individuals tasked with this idea of go and create meaningfulness. And as you look at how they spent their time in those 24 hours, the two groups of people didn't really do that much more differently. It was that the individuals in the meaningfulness group felt much more connected to people and the world around them. And I think the interesting implication from this work is that as you spend time going through the day, the question is, how connected are you to others around you? to uh, colleagues, to friends, to family members, and to even strangers. We asked individuals to define happiness. So to what degree does happiness mean excitement, for example, versus peacefulness? And one thing that we found was uh, people agree that happiness means excitement versus peacefulness in different proportions as they age. So what's happening is that individuals at younger age ranges, like 16, 17, 18, are more likely to agree with the statement, happiness means excitement. And individuals over 40, 50, 60, are much more likely to agree with the statement that happiness means peacefulness. Um, now there's many exceptions, but in general that's the trend. Now what was so interesting in this line of work was that we gave our younger individuals, our teenagers and our 20 year olds, a simple manipulation. We asked them to deep, uh, breathe deeply, focused on the present, for about five minutes. And um, our subjects that were asked to do that then were later given a question which is, what is the meaning of happiness for you? And those individuals who again were very young but then performed sort of a deep breathing exercise focused on the present for five minutes we're much more likely after that to agree with the statement that happiness means peacefulness. So it's almost like they took on almost a mindset of an older individual. What was happening for these younger individuals is that as they thought about being more present and deep breathing, focus on the present, um, it, it reoriented the way they look at life and the way they defined happiness. Um, so what we were showing is that the meaning of happiness shifts over the life course but also that the meaning of happiness can shift even in five minutes, depending on what you do.